Hey guys, archaeologists have unearthed some very strange things in an ancient Hindu temple called Srasrang in Cambodia, and this is groundbreaking because it changes everything we know about ancient statues and temples. This looks just like a stone turtle, right? But when they tapped on this, its shell began cracking on the top, and the crack developed into a nice little rectangle. I got the footage of how archaeologists slowly inserted a sharp blade into the crack and then started to move the blade all around the crack and made the crack bigger. And then they opened the stone statue like a container. Inside is a large rectangular hole which had a strange gel-like substance, almost like wet silica gel. You can see how archaeologists are taking a small sample out of it and are trying to figure out what it is. What is this gel and why has this been safely placed into this stone container and why was it buried in the temple premises? Experts confirm that this is at least 1,000 years old, but it could be much older. This is an amazing discovery, right? But archaeologists have found something even more strange. They found another stone turtle, which was also buried in dirt, and they were able to open that also. It had a triangle-shaped lid on its shell, and what they found inside is shocking. They found neatly polished crystal quartz stones. Multiple news sources confirmed this, and they found hundreds of neatly polished crystal quartz stones buried on site. I mean, look, this is the original footage from the excavation site. The crystals fill up two plastic bags, and this is how they look after lying in the dirt and marsh for 1,000 years. Imagine how fresh they would have looked when they were cut back then. As soon as these were found, locals started to come in and pray in large numbers because they felt a strange energy radiating from them. Cambodians are very spiritual people and they performed all sorts of rituals on these artifacts and crystals. But is this just spiritual energy radiating from them? Or is there science behind all this? I mean, why did ancient builders cut hundreds of crystal quartz stones, polish them, and safeguard them? Today, we use the same material in semiconductors for transistors, integrated circuits. The first radio communication devices we used were made purely using crystal quartz. Is it possible that the ancient builders were using some type of a radio communication device? But inside the turtle container, they also found something even more strange. They found thin bronze wires. Archaeologists are baffled by this, and they just dismiss it by saying these were just threads used for religious purposes. No Hindu or Buddhist ritual ever uses bronze threads. This is unheard of. These are bronze wires, and ancient builders were using it for some other reason. Bronze is not a metal, it is an alloy made of multiple metals like copper and tin, and ancient builders made them into thin wires. What else could possibly be the use of these bronze wires other than some type of electric or electronic purpose? Today, we use bronze wires. You can go to a store and get phosphor bronze wires and use it for switches, relays, all type of electric and electronic instruments, okay? Is it just a coincidence that they found crystal quartz and bronze wires side by side? 
Look at the crystal radio sets we used some decades ago. These were simple devices made with wires and crystal quartz. I mean, the only thing missing is an antenna and they could make a crystal radio device with these items and start receiving signals. And believe it or not, they also found these strange metal objects buried in the dirt. Can you see what these are? Are these religious tridents or are they antennas used for radio communication? When archeologists cleaned the dirt off, they could not believe their eyes because these are very high quality metal objects which show almost no deterioration. In spite of being buried for such a long time, they had no trace of rust or decay. Is it possible that these high quality metal rods with three prongs sticking into the air were used as antennas in ancient times? I mean, what are the chances that crystal quartz, bronze wires, and pronged metal rods are all found in the same place, just as a coincidence? We could completely build a crystal radio set with these three items and start receiving signals. All we need to do is to tune into a desired frequency. What frequency would that be? Archaeologists thought they had finished unearthing all these buried artifacts, but they accidentally found a small bump in the dirt right next to all these artifacts. They started to excavate this carefully, and they found a giant stone statue. Can you guess what this is? It's partially destroyed, but on the stone, there is a weird carving of a circle with geometric patterns embedded inside. This is bizarre because it resembles a frequency. Today, we are able to convert frequencies into visuals. Any specific frequency that we tune into can be depicted as a visual. And they almost always look like these circular patterns with geometric shapes inside. And this stone artifact, which is a broken naga, shows exactly that, a specific frequency. I have shown you these frequencies before and how they're connected to the nagas. Today, we use radio tuners to tune into a specific frequency to listen to our favorite radio station. Is it possible? that ancient builders were using this specific frequency to receive information using crystal radio devices. If so, who would have sent these signals to them? Since 2007, scientists have recorded about 85 instances of strange radio signals coming from deep space. The signals are called fast radio bursts, or FRBs. Scientists are puzzled because each signal is unique. It never repeats itself, which indicates that these signals could be coming from an advanced intelligent source. Is it possible that the ancient builders were communicating with otherworldly beings using crystal radio sets? How else can we explain these crystals, bronze wires, three-pronged metal rods, and a frequency diagram all found in the same place? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I am Praveen Mohan. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and also click on the bell button to get all the updates. Please give it a thumbs up and do share it with your friends and I will talk to you soon. Bye.